Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for September the 27th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, the European Medicines Agency warned that it could lose up to 70% of its staff if the wrong location is chosen for its new headquarters. The regulator surveyed employees earlier this month, with 92% responding, although the agency declined to reveal the names of the 19 candidate cities. However, Politico reported that the survey had shown that Amsterdam was the top choice of EMA staff. Politico suggested that Barcelona and Vienna were runners-up in terms of projected staff retention, with the top five most popular locations seeing possible retention rates of 65% to 81%. In other news, Japanese regulators approved GlaxoSmithKline's Ben Lister for the treatment of adults with systemic lupus erythematosus who are inadequate responders to existing therapies. The monoclonal antibody, which selectively targets B lymphocyte stimulator, is indicated for use as an add-on therapy in autoantibody positive SLE patients. And finally, Immune Pharmaceuticals shares surged 75% after the company announced positive results from a Phase 2 trial of Bertilimumab in moderate to severe bullous pemphigoid. The data from the first six patients in the study showed that Bertilimumab was associated with an 85% decline in patients' total activity scores for the condition. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 